The war that was meant to end by Christmas was going to place enormous strain on London's transport system. Huge numbers of the vehicles are requisitioned for war purposes, and you lose overnight majority of your male workforce. Now, women knew that they were needed. They were being employed in unprecedented numbers. So when in 1918, the Committee of Production awards wartime bonuses and they give men a bigger bonus than women, well, do you know what? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that women, always good communicators, are gonna find a way to hit back. Women and men withdrew their labour and London ground to a halt. You couldn't find an omnibus anywhere on Victoria Forecourt or any other forecourt in London for that matter. And what happens is you get what's called wildcat strikes. So think in Brighton Hove, Bristol, Bath, Western Supermare. There's like, it catches on, you know, it's the vogue. And there was no Twitter, Facebook, no social media in those days. So it's worth bearing in mind that this kind of wildcat striking picks up on the mood of the country, which is tired and fed up. And the strikes are successful because a week later, those women are given their five shilling bonus. And I think, because we're talking about exactly 100 years ago, it's worth bearing in mind, therefore, what pioneers these women were.